so forth. We can hear first hand on that uh, battle. Uh, would you give a warm uh, welcome to Councillor Keith Morell? <laughs> intimidated at the idea of being a councillor <laughs> because I was thinking hell did, did we really do that um, can I reassure you that you don't have to be a financial ex e expert to aspire to be a socialist councillor you don't have to have a, a degree in accountancy you don't have to be qualified as a as a, as a financial expert in local government finances. Um, yes, of course, um, Don and I had some understanding uh, of how local government finance worked because we went to the, um, uh, the, the, the meetings at which we were given um, instruction in these things. But by and large, when we got to the point where we found ourselves in conflict with the administration and with in effect the council as a whole including its senior officers we had to learn quickly but i can reassure you there is a tremendous reserve a tremendous um, amount of capital within our organization that will be there to help you should the need arise don and i found it phenomenally supportive to know and to have the the the, the, the expertise of comrades um, in our organisation who could assist us in putting together the, 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 the nitty gritty um, uh, demands that we needed to make. So, as I say, please be reassured. You don't, you don't have to know it all. You don't have to do night school in order to uh, aspire to be a, a good counsellor. Um, Clive very um, effectively described the sort of thing we did in Southampton. But actually, I, I'd like to, 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 to spend a few minutes, a few minutes I have, to just look at it from a different angle, which is the, the sort of reaction that Don and I got when we did what we did. When we found ourselves in the situation of having to oppose the proposed cuts in local services, which included, as you may all be aware, a local swimming pool. We weren't able to do a mass consultation to find out um, from, the, from the people we represented what they wanted us to do. We had to make a decision. What do we do? And instinctively, as socialists, we knew what we had to do, but we had to fight. We weren't elected to damage our local communities. We weren't elected to close down local resources. That's why we wanted to be councillors, to defend those local services and in fact to, in, to enhance them, to improve upon them. So was it difficult? No, it wasn't. It was easy. What I sometimes find difficult to understand is why so many other Labour councillors found it difficult. <laughs> In the budget that, that Clive described last year, tens of millions of pounds were taken out of uh, the council's spending plans, the, 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 plan, the, the, the spending that was already in place. As a Labour councillor, I would have thought, you know, you could ask yourself the question, for example, we're about, to, we're about to have a vote on whether we shut down the entire youth service in Southampton. Should I do that or not? <laughs> <laughs> what, do I, what do you do? <laughs> you do comrades I, don't think, I think that's a rhetorical question i'm not expecting you to answer don and i found it easy we knew exactly what we had to do we had to fight we had to say no not in our name okay other 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 labor councillors found it impossible 
to go down that route. I would question, why are you a Labour councillor? <laughs> now, it, 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 it might be said, ah, if there's enough pressure from below, then those Labour councillors will respond. They will put up a fight. But comrades, I've got to be honest, I don't want to stand in the council chamber alongside councillors who are being forced to make a stand. I want to stand along count, alongside other councillors who are there because they're socialists, because they believe in public services, because they believe in standing up for their class. That's what's important to me. So if we can, if, we, if, if we're able to, to put up our, our 625 candidates, I, am com I know that those 625 candidates will be fighting for what they believe in. They won't be there to make a career. And by the way, there are, I'm sorry to say, there are so many Labour councillors who now see becoming a councillor as a stepping stone to, in, as part of a career. It, it, that's the reality of it. It's, uh, it's an unfortunate truth, but that is the case. No, I think if we have 625 candidates or more, then every one of those candidates will be fighting for what they believe in. And those are the kinds of councillors we want. Now, when Don and I are out on the doorstep with, with, with other comrades supporting us in Southampton, we, we, we've, we've actually been taken aback by the reception we've had on the doorstep. Now, I, I, Don and I have, have, between us, had decades of experience of canvassing, of door knocking, of being out there at election times particularly, but at other times of the year as well, talking to people and asking them effectively to support Labour. I have never, in all those decades that I've been doing that sort of thing, got the sort of response on the doorstep that Don and I and the other comrades have been getting. The awareness of the support that Don and I have been getting in our, in our ward, and across the city by the way, through the awareness by the Labour Party in Southampton means that they are mounting a huge campaign against us. They are determined that I will not win in May. Because if I do win, that is living proof that if you stand up and put up a fight, you will get a response. That is something they do not wish to see proven. Because it would go against everything they stand for. So comrades, I can, only re I can only relate to you my experience and Don's experience in, in, in Coxford Ward. But what I do know is that out there, there is a huge constituency of people who are looking for somebody to stand up and speak for them and fight for them. Now, if you're standing as a Tusk candidate from the very beginning, you may find that it's difficult, it's an uphill task, because there's still a huge amount of, um, of, of latent support for Labour, traditional historical Labour support is there. You know, it's a very difficult one to overcome because a lot of people see it as, well, if you don't vote Labour, you'll let the Tories in. You know, we've all heard it, we've all, we've all experienced that kind of thing. There's a, dif there's a difficulty, and it was referred to from the platform this morning, a difficulty of, 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 of getting up that, to that point where people recognise that you are, a, you are actually an alternative. Now, in a sense, we got it easy in, in, in Southampton, in Coxwell Ward, because we were already there. We, able, we, we have a track record now. People know that we, Don and I, if we say something, we mean it, and we will do it. They can trust us, and that is coming through. That's what people want. They want to know that if they vote for a candidate, they can rely on that candidate to do what they say. And Don, Don and I have proven it by our actions. <clears throat> that's, that's made it, e in a sense, easier for us. We have the opportunity of, 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 of demonstrating that. 
But that's something that well, obviously, as candidates, we have to try and um, uh, demonstrate when we're not, we're not, we're not you're not already a, a, a councillor. And I, I recognise that that is a difficulty. But nevertheless, I am convinced that if you go out there and you speak to people and you put out your material, you will get an echo because people are looking for a change. They are looking for leadership <coughs> and we can provide it. I am 100% confident of that, of, of, that that's the case. So comrades, we have a few months left before the election. Go out there on, into your communities, talk to people, demonstrate to them that you are somebody who can be trusted and you will get a response. And I wish you all well. And if anybody wants to come to Southampton to help, we <laughs> appreciate it. Comrades, it said, it was, it's been said we're all in this together. Well, we are all in this together. And I am proud to be part of this that we are all in together. So, forwards, forwards, comrades.